Windows Distributed File System, DFS, is a Microsoft technology that allows organizations to create a unified namespace for file and folder access across multiple servers and locations. It enables a more organized and efficient way to manage and access shared files and folders in a networked environment. Here's an overview of Windows DFS. 1. Namespace. DFS provides a virtual directory structure, known as a namespace, which masks the physical file and folder locations on the network. This allows users to access files using a common and consistent path, regardless of where the files are stored. The namespace simplifies file access and reduces the complexity of managing shared resources. 2. DFS Servers DFS relies on one or more servers in the network to host and replicate the shared folders. These servers are called DFS servers or DFS targets. Multiple DFS servers can be used to distribute the load and improve fault tolerance. 3. DFS root. The top-level folder in a DFS namespace is called the DFS root. It contains links, called DFS links, to shared folders hosted on DFS servers. Users access the DFS namespace by connecting to the DFS root. 4. Replication. DFS allows for the replication of data across multiple DFS servers. This replication can be configured for fault tolerance and load balancing. If one server becomes unavailable, users can still access the data from another replica. 5. Benefits DFS provides several advantages, including improved fault tolerance, load distribution, simplified data access, and enhanced data availability. It also facilitates data migration and server replacement without affecting users' access to shared resources. 6. Access Control DFS respects the NTFS permissions of shared folders, ensuring that users only access the data they are authorized to. Windows DFS is commonly used in organizations with complex file sharing needs, such as enterprises with multiple branch offices, to provide a seamless and reliable file access experience for users while enhancing data management and data availability across distributed environments. Subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.